the last EMBN show of 2022, but we do have some inspirational content from all parts of the world, and we've got some big news as well. It's all a bit up in the air at the moment, even though we're between Christmas and New Year. Uh, Josh Bryceland has recently been in the Forest of Dean with us at the EMBN, but he's also been at the Royal Fest out in France. Chris, what is the Royal Fest? So the Royal Fest is a huge free ride event out of France built by the man Nico Vink, who's a really cool free rider. He invites a bunch of mountain bike uh, like free riders and a load of motocross riders. So it's a bit of a combination oh, right. of both. And the jumps to that place are absolutely what kind huge. Of, what kind of distance are we talking? Uh, I think some of the biggest jumps are around 70, 80 foot long on some of those Oof. jumps. So big, big, um, big stuff. And Josh told me that he's, is he the first person to hit these jumps on an e-mountain bike? I think at Royal Fest, yeah. I noticed in the press release it says about um, it was the first guy riding them at a, a, a mountain bike event. But actually, if you cast your mind back, Sam Pilgrim, Audi 9s, he rode his high bike there, yeah, didn't he? Doing yeah. some yeah. pretty insane stuff. And he was liking how many runs he'd get in and how stable the bike was, much like Josh is saying in this edit as well, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Well, it's, I, um, I'm happy that Josh had a bit of uh, nice weather because when we were in the forest scene, it was absolutely, it was dark, very dark times. But uh, yeah, he's definitely showing what can be done on an e-mounted bike. Uh, in tech news this week, uh, uh, YT have come out with a new 720 watt hour battery for the YT decoy bikes. I remember the YT decoy comes as either a trail version or a kind of more enduro version, 27.5 or 29. So uh, really good news for uh, decoy owners, I think, Chris. Yeah, they, they did on. talk about it back in, I think, uh, February 2019. They talked about this bigger 700 watt hour battery, which didn't come to market because of supply issues, but they come back with this 720 watt hour battery. It's a little bit heavier, 846 grams over that 540 watt hour battery but it will fit in any of the YT decoys from size medium upwards. So yeah, perfect. Nice investment. $899, yeah. so it adds a little bit of a different profile to the down tube. You've got a bit of a bulge in the belly, as I say. A bulge in the belly. <laughs> I mean, who hasn't got a bulge in the belly this exactly. time? I think it's a very appropriate uh, topic for, for the week, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Christmas. Has it been carnage for you last week? Yeah, with the, uh, with the kids and that, running crazy all over the house, new yeah. presents, and yeah, getting out there. Were you running crazy all over the house as well? No, nah, not quite. Uh, how, about, how about you? Uh, yeah, quiet, a bit of wine. Do you have any port? No, no, no port, just a few beers. So folks, uh, yeah, bear with us. We've had a hectic few days, that's mm -hmm. for sure. So of course it is the festive season, but as we all know, e-mountain bikes are every season of the year. So we're looking at the year ahead for you guys and maybe some inspiration for some trips that you might want to put in the calendar. Uh, I've got four crests, which I think, uh, you know, pretty pretty hefty. Okay, kick us I off think, then. I think something which, you know, if you want some big adventure mm -hmm. style riding in your 2023 calendar, I think a glacier trip should be on your on your bucket list for sure. Uh, Rich went out to uh, the Grand Combine in the summer. Um, it was a full-on adventure, that's for sure. But um, yeah, just about got around. But Chris, I think one thing for me, I think, which is great mm -hmm. looking in 2023, is bike festivals. Oh yeah, it can't be you a know, festival. You, know, you went mm -hmm. to a few last year. You went to Rock de Zur, You went to um, our own global bike festival. That global cool. bike festival. That was one went to um, oh, what's it called? The one in Malvern. Oh, Malvern, yeah, Malvern Classic. Malvern Classic. Yeah. But it's a great place to go yeah. and, and, and try some new bikes, yeah. see some new bikes, mm -hmm. see some Loads characters. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, walk around in a bin liner. <laughs> Ponchos. Uh, Ponchos. That was style at its best. <laughs> uh, I think the other thing is maybe entering a race. You know, you've got the EWS E we Series. Have. Yeah. Fairly accessible, isn't it? Lots of different rounds. Well, there's different, you know, there's different classes. Yeah. You can do the EWS 50, yeah. which is half the event. Mm -hmm. You can do the EWS 100, which mm -hmm. isn't, it's, it's still all the same. Uh, section, still the same runs, but yeah. you don't have to get to the li liaisons on the same time. But mm. try an EWSE, it's a mm. fantastic way to get and see some amazing trails uh, across the world. And then, of course, Chris, I think. Gotta get something, get into something wet. On you your gotta e -bike. get something wet, haven't yeah, you? Exactly. And I think our Welsh adventure has got to be probably yeah. the wettest time I've ever been on an e bike. Louis, have you got anything, any comments to say on that? Uh, that was wet, that one, wasn't it? <laughs> and it was sideways. It was horrendous, wasn't it? But I think getting out into the hills, whatever the weather, your e-bike is going to take you, you know, to your end point. It's going to be a hell of an adventure. So get out there, get it done. Yeah, get them in your calendar for 2023. Now, talking about getting out and about, where in the world this week? We've got some uh, lovely photographs from 
all continents. Wow. First of all, we are at that last place we talked about, Chris, North Wales. This mm-hmm. is uh, Clan Dequin in North Wales, and uh, Chris is having a lunch break. Uh, and then moving across the uh, Atlantic to New York. This is in New Jersey in Wharton State Forest. Well, that's it's crazy. some good riding, you know, just just outside New York. I was going to say New York when I've been there a couple of times. It just seems like there's nothing there apart from that little uh, park in the middle, just Central Park. Do you know what? I've always thought mm-hmm. Central Park on an e-bike would be all time because mm-hmm. there's really big boulders I in did there. See, I did see someone, uh, an edit actually done in there, I think. Honestly, yeah. the, the, I mean, we're not suggesting you should go and ride around the boulders in New York <laughs> in, in um, Central Park, but uh, definitely a, a good area. And then, Chris, uh, this final one mm-hmm. is from... Um, bike. From Bike in Bukegi, Omu Bukegi. Peak. So Bukegi, Chris, I'm pretty sure you've mentioned Bukegi before a few times with me. Uh, I think, yeah, watching videos around that area. Okay, but, right. Yeah. I mean, a um, bit of snow in the ground. It looks cold, doesn't it? It does look cold, yeah. Wow, look at that trail going off. Uh, in the- but I do know, mm-hmm. I've just remembered where Bukegi is. It's in Romania. Is it? It's in Romania. It looks cool, what, isn't it? A lovely place. Looks like a nice bit of grip on the rock there, Chris. Mm. It's a lovely- uh, lovely blue sky, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> lovely blue sky, and look at those trails as well. It looks super cold, but yeah, it looks an amazing place to get out there on your e-bike. Now I know you guys have probably shopped out at the moment, but a great way of supporting the channel is to get over to the shop and get your winter beanies. Yeah, some water repellent beanies in there. And they're I've good. They are good. You got, had a green one on the other day, didn't you? That was a GMBN one. Oh, was it? I mean, there's the GMBN shop mm-hmm. as well, folks. There's a GCN shop too. Uh, but the new beanies, I have to say, are next level. Yeah. They, they're warm, they are water repellent, mm. and uh, they're just the right size, I think. Yeah, they look really good, don't they? And there's so much kit in there as well. I've got bundle deals going on if you fancy a jersey and a shorts to complement you know, your riding kit. Loads of deals in there and saves you a bunch of cash. You're getting the EMBN shop for all your latest needs. Right, it's time for Tech of the Week, and we have got an amazing Canyon custom build in from Captain. What do you think of this one, Steve? I do like it a lot. Um, mm-hmm. So he's basically taken a standard Canyon Spectral on and he's put his own parts on it. Yeah. And, and starting off with some Mavic E D Max wheels. Mm-hmm. Really good, good choice. choice yeah. Uh, a Zeb, RockShox Zeb fork RC3 up front and a RockShox Super Deluxe Ultimate RC2T shock on the back. Mm-hmm. So he's really gone to town on this bike, didn't he? Some big stopping power as well. Got Magura MT5 brakes on there with a MDRP220 front row and a 230 yeah. mil rear. Set of Maxxis tyres mm-hmm. and also an Ergon GE1 seat. There I think go. we do have one there. That's yes, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, and I mean, Captain has taken an already great bike. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know whether it's the 900 watt hour or the 720 watt hour, but an already great bike and um, and upgraded it. Uh, I can see there's a mud gut on the back there as well, Chris. Two That's mud good, guts. isn't it? Yeah, got front mud gut and rear mud. It's all those little touches, isn't it? I think getting it, as you say, an already great bike and adding those little bits to it to complete the package, really good to see. And we love seeing all those custom builds here on EMBN. Make sure you use that upload service for anything you want featured here on the show. Now, a few weeks ago, uh, I took four uh, light to mid-assist e-mountain bikes and put them head-to-head on a hill climb. Now, the bikes were the Specialized Levo SL, Track Fuel EXE, the New Forest Style, and of course, the Pivot SL. Now, they differ in the amount of torque and peak power, mm-hmm. and uh, I just wanted to find out what, you know, a bit of fun, mm-hmm. is, there a, is there a big difference in the motors when it comes to climbing speed and, and, and peak power? Super interesting, that video, and, I really liked it. And there was, there was nothing in it, mm-hmm. there was literally nothing in it, I mean, Granted, you know, I did go up a tarmac road. Mm. You know, it's not the place you'd probably ride you know, a lot of e-mountain bikes, but yeah, there's nothing in it. But we had a good, a good uh, batch of comments in from you guys. Uh, Loz Etchell says, uh, wow, didn't expect that. Also, the Bafang is a noisy motor. Would do my head in. Quite fancy the Levo SL to complement my Levo. Oh, yes, well, <laughs> that'd be great, wouldn't it? And D-Restricted says, now try the test with the bikes in a natural habitat. Off-road on a steeper technical climb, that's where the more powerful, lighter e-bikes shine over the weak ones, especially the Fazua motor and turbo. Let me climb pretty much all the same techie stuff, especially in the lunatic mode as my full-powered bike. Yeah, the the, the Fazua with, uh, with the lunatic mode is is that level extra? You know, it is only 12 seconds of, uh, of extra power, but yeah. it'll make the difference between you, you, you know, making the climb or not. 
Uh, and then finally, SPL88 says, not sure about the weight test, guys. Uh, to me, this is really good acoustic test of different motors. TQ wins once again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the TQ is. It is the quietest motor for sure. Really and noticeable in that video as yeah, well. And, it? and nobody, no, no, nobody gets any close. Nobody gets close to it, sorry. Uh, now, before we go into the bike vault, I'm afraid we have some very sad news this week. Uh, Chris is actually leaving us to pastures new. Mm, it's been a hell of a five years, you know, obviously on the team, been to some great places, had some great times on e-bikes, and uh, yeah, just moving on to pastures new. So, should we take a look at some of the... Uh, Why not? Bits? Why not? And look who we've got on the show. I knew that was going to happen. Genuinely gutted mm. that you're leaving. Uh, folks, I'm sure you'll join uh, us here on EMBN to wish Chris all the best. Uh, please send your wishes to him on, on the comments down below or send him a message on his Instagram. Uh, Chris, we have had some great times. We have. What's been the highlights <laughs> for you, Steve? Come on. There's been some Maybe, crazy trips. I mean, we mentioned it before. I think the, uh, the, um, the finger incident is definitely one of them, isn't it? Finger in or finger? Finger incident. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean, sad, sad thing that went up, but your face was yeah. literally white. Oh yeah, I remember <laughs> that. I've never actually hurt myself that. Well, it looked really minimal, but the actual what it did to me, I felt faint. I felt sick. You know, that was horrendous, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, we mentioned you got it, scars from it now. Actually, we, we mentioned it on the on the show. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, great timing. Yeah. I mean, you said that comment to, to Louis. You said to Louis, "Is this your worst EMBN moment ever?" And I think you said, you know, well. Actually, the worst ones are probably the best ones. Yeah, true. The most memorable, right? I think that one, bog surfing, you know, recently <laughs> up in uh, North Wales, that horrendous 70 mile per hour winds, yeah, hail, yeah. Yeah. lost, you know, literally riding across bogs in 70 mile per hour wind. Mm -hmm. was, uh, it was kind of like so bad, but really good. What about the other ones? Oh, crikey, I've been so many, obviously. Some of the big climbs we've done, I think some of the crazy places you've taken me to. Um, out in Wales, obviously the Slab in Bristol. The Slab, I mean, Malaga. the Slab was all time, wasn't it? Yeah. Was I don't think I've ever been so scared in my life than yeah. when we did that together. That was a real eye-opener as to what was well, Chris coming is, as well. Chris was the first person to the top of the Slab, yeah, right? Yeah, true, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. And I think even just what I've managed to do on e-bikes, you know, all the big jumps and the free ride stuff as well. It's just been cool to be part of that journey from the early days as well, so. Yeah. yeah. So folks, uh, like I said, uh, please uh, join us here on the NBN to wish Chris all the best and uh, yeah, lots more yeah. strawberry milkshakes. <laughs> right, should we do the bike vault for the final time? Oh, crikey. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Right, the bike vault then. Let's go into the bike vault. Start off with Alex, uh, Paul Voima. Um, Brasov, Romania. Oh, crack, I've lost my flow now. <laughs> Chris, um, no, honestly, generally get it. Yeah. I'm really no. sorry you're leaving. It's, uh, mm. yeah, mm. seriously, all the best. No, all look. the best in uh, your new, new ventures. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And thanks for all you viewers as well. It's uh, been a hell of a ride. <sighs> Come back in the bike fall, and I'm going to find this quite tricky, actually. <laughs> uh, Paul Voima, yeah. Um, it's, I mean, I don't think I'll be able to whistle now, I think, but it, it's got to be a super nice, isn't it? I'll do the whistle then. You try the whistle. I'll just do the whistle. That's it? super nice, yeah, definitely. It looks super cold, that one. Uh, next one is from Dennis. He's got his Cannondale oh. Matera. Oh. In, in where? Cheddar. Cheddar Gorge. Richard Payland. Having some is cider. It really yeah. yeah, just down the road from there. Hold on, Chris. Didn't we used to race downhill down from here? Yeah. We did, didn't we? Because that's, we used to be able to see the lake, didn't we? Oh, God. What was, what was it called? That's the reservoir, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Cheddar reservoir. Um, is it nice or super nice, though? Super nice. Super nice. So on this next one, it's definitely super nice. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul and his giant rain E plus two, uh, Westwood near Winchester. Wow. Got a real bargain in the Black Friday sales. Nearly half price. What? What the heck? I like super cold there. I think that's definitely got to be a super nice. What do you think of this one then? Brian with his Rocky Mountain Altitude Power Play out in Colorado. Yeah, 100% super nice me. Fresh, fresh Gulch and Beckenridge, Colorado. Nice. Uh, next up, track 
uh, fuel XE in Swindley Forest, UK. Definitely super nice. They do look good, don't they? Four months, wait for that. It looks they different do, in that colour. They do look nice. I can throw them that colour as well. Mm. So this is a nice one as well in Ballyhoora Mountains, Ireland. Uh, Darius Cube Sierra Hybrid SL160. Wow. It's going to be... I'm going to give that on that super nice. Crikey. And Ryan, uh, ground up build stock of beer, Rise H30 Devon UK. Very autumnal shot. That give one. them away. And finally, we've mm -hmm. got Spectral On Bike Park Mook in the Netherlands. Wow, looks really cool, doesn't it? A great looking bike, so he's got a few custom uh, purple anodized bits on there as well. Looking good, and I think that rounds out another super nice for me to close. The last time I've watched one, what's that? Give it a whistle there. There you go. <sighs> End of an era. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to us here on EMBN and we sure well, oh, you sure. I'll catch you next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear. <laughs>